Okay, Joe, another thing I wanted to actually share with you about uh, kata translating into bunkai. All right, first and foremost, this is grab around the head, okay? It's for tagumi, wrestling practice. You go around the head, and you can go ahead and have one hand in the appendage, bring here, bring here, bring together. It's pretty universal. This is nothing more than the application that's saying that you can apply tagumi techniques, wrestling techniques, and working on the pivot points throughout kata as one level of application. Second, when we come here, this is another level of application. The you are presenting wrist grabs, okay? This, in the old Tweety, okay, or Toide, would be to present your wrist grabs to the targets for wrist grabs, to your partner, and you can practice your techniques. So, basically, when we go from here, here, and here, like in Pen on Godon, you have to imagine what we're doing. One, the right hand is grabbing the left wrist. You're coming up, okay? You get here, you grab the elbow, you put forward, okay? And then you can go ahead and rotate it out of the socket. This is going to be a repeating type theme throughout the thing of entry control dispatch and what seem to be linear uh, strikes with the fist are linear strikes perhaps with the inside or outside of the forearm. It's also going to be um, captures. When you have at the hip, you're taking something to yourself and bringing it back out. There's a whole plethora of things to go on here that we'll talk about in depth as we go through this. Let's go ahead and focus on Seisan now for a moment. In Seisan, the very first thing we do is we come here, here, and here. So how that works is somebody grabs your wrist, you're going to go up and you're going to grab it at the near epicenter, okay? Go to the side, shoot your arm underneath, and then lever break. That's all it comes down to. This is the punch, it looks like, it's just an extension of the arm, and then lowering the hand here to the hip is the break. Hit tiki tay, taking something with it. So in short again, the entry is the grab, and you're re-grabbing here and there. All right, it's the same thing on the reciprocal side. From right here, it's gonna be a wrist grab from the left hand to the right wrist. And it's going to go come up as you're leaving the attack line, you're gonna re-grab, shoot underneath, and break the elbow. Person is elevator after feet. Operate that with some discretion. Now the third uh, technique in this repeating sequence, when we come here again, boom, but there is no block, is a cross hand grab. So as the left hand crosses to the left wrist, you're going to come up, you're going to grab, and then you're going to smash with the forearm through the elbow. Very simple. It doesn't picture the fourth technique because that reciprocal is always a given. So the fourth place would be right here. Okay? Those are the first four techniques in the Seisan, uh, three evident, one implied. The next thing we do after we do that smash is we grab here, we come here, and then come here. Part of that and then turn, but part of that is a technique by itself. When we go ahead, I'm sorry, when we grab here and pull in, that's just a straight knee to the floating ribs or to the thigh muscle right here where you're going to smash it against the femur and pretty much inhabilitate your partner. Next, you show from here to here. Well, you've got to start from here. You always start from that given position that was referenced at the very beginning of the kata. Every technique starts from presenting a double hand grab, so you can actually toggle through left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Same hand grab, same hand grab, cross hand grab, cross hand grab, through the whole kata. It is consistent. Somebody goes ahead and does a cross hand grab to this hand, so it'd be left to left. Okay, you're gonna come here, you're gonna turn it into the hand, you're gonna come up to the elbow, and as you come through and then you turn your center, you're gonna break the radius the over the ulna. Then you're gonna go ahead and turn around and dislodge it out of the shoulder. The turn is a dislodge out of the shoulder. So you can understand the very first leg of Seisan Bunkai. I wish I had another person here to demonstrate it with, but you got what I got right now, okay? Have a good day. Bye-bye.